Welcome back, everybody. So let's take a look. Yeah, these lights did dim, so I guess it's all dependent on the. Uh, do I have a? I'll have to use a button. It's all dependent on the power level you give it. I bet if I do that off. Oh yeah, so it's dependent on the um, oxidation. That's a bright green. That is a big green light. So if I want it uh, brighter, I'm going to have to wax them before I, you know, before they oxidize. But you see, I've got, look at all this. We'll see how many, uh, how much of this I get. It's such a small little uh, farm, but look, I get almost two stacks each time. And it is quick. I got some dirt. Oops. Dirt. Do I have dirt here? Oh, I got dirt there. Oh, where's those water bottles? There we go. Oh, and I can actually, uh, I'll just put the clay in there. Yeah, so this works pretty good. I don't need it super big. Although I'm going to have to keep stopping by here really quick on a, re on a regular basis. Because I want to get a bunch more brick. Because I need to put houses up on top of this hill. But first, I'm going to need to uh, clear out the hill. Because it is covered in spruce and snow. And also, it's not landscaped in a way where I can actually build. So I'm going to mud all this dirt up and then we are going to uh, hop into a time lapse and I am going to clear, clear that hill and get it ready for some new builds. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show.
So we have everything on the mountain cleared and I've got the walls built. And I've been able to uh, recycle, not recycle, but I guess generate, generate the clay a few times. So I'm getting enough to uh, help me with some of my future builds. I'm going to need real brick and then mud bricks. So this is also an easy way to create the mud. Cause just sort of get into a rhythm. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like that. Then if I clear it off immediately, I can do another round and get a whole stack of mud. I don't need the mud right now. So we'll put that back in here. Let's see, put the clay balls in here. I'm gonna put this uh, straw in there because I can make uh, make my bricks out of the clay or out of the mud. Oops, and I don't need this bottle. We are the bottle, the dirt, and then we are set to go take a look at the rest of the mountain. So to combat the snow, I've decided we're going to do top slabs, or I guess bottom slabs, slabs on top of the blocks. That way nothing can snow on them. That does elevate me a little bit. It's like when we get up to here. So if I've got, well that's different too. Ooh, I didn't realize that was so different. We will have to do something else here. Why don't we just put the polish here? Like I said, when you get up to this area, we start to go this way. This is going to be a random walkway. By random, I mean random blocks of a certain type. So I've got no discernible pattern. I'm just randomly placing down the slabs. But then you end up with this. So if I put the fence on top of here, it's really easy to hop over. So I thought if we do this, and then we put fence on top of there. We get the same effect, which is having fence on all the borders. That does not look too bad. And then it elevates it one so we don't accidentally fall off, which is what I want. Oh, come on. There we go. My fingers aren't working. Oops. And this will work for the buildings I've got around here because I can always elevate them a block. So, like this road goes all over here. We'll do this. that still leaves a few little blocks like this so I can put some dirt and some plants on here but I've got this path going around here um, I believe I'm going to put another apartment building here and once we get up here I can do I have dang it I'm going to have to make a crafting table That'll be fine. It's always nice when the stairs match. I don't have to really think about it too much. Like that. And I guess we'll just have to carry this on through the whole thing. That's the only new thing I'm doing on because these walls 
I think I have some other parts of the city where I didn't didn't elevate I elevated the slab but I didn't elevate the walls and so I can always hop over it oh yeah actually down there where the barn is so going into the barn over in this area those slabs are up one and I got the wall around it but I can easily jump over and get into the yard I mean that makes it more convenient to get in there but also makes it hard to keep animals in and out of pens hence that's how we got all those little pigs in there they just ran right over the wall of course they shouldn't have got out in the first place still not a hundred percent positive why that happened although i haven't seen anybody over there since i fixed it so i think we're good although i did uh, notice there's a random random block of dirt in one of these fields over here, or one of these yards over here, which is my Enderman. Once again, Enderman causing trouble. So now we get up to this place. So I think this area may be more housing and stuff. So I don't see a problem with housing. there this is a little different I had to angle it and then let's do this there Yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put over in this area. I think I'll shoot the road down, follow this wall, and just go straight down that way. And probably some houses, maybe some stores and stuff. But I really picture this mountain, or, you know, this, I guess it's a mountain, this hilly area on top here for residential because you get such a good view of everything. So I can't see why they wouldn't want to live up here. And this is definitely going to be housing. Probably put some more of those brick houses in and some other few styles, but more, you know, traditional house, traditional house styles. Although I may experiment with a few of the modern, like architecture styles. I think you know, all that is the, the oak and the granite. So I think this is going to be diorite. We have a few of these little foxes running around. Oh, adorable. Yep, yep, there's another one there. Not exactly tame. I bred, I had, there's a few wild ones running around here. I, I bred them, so I think these are the puppies because they're not running away. I wonder if they, do they change blocks? It looks like he's holding a stick or something. He's holding a stick or something. Oh boy, you can see. Boy, you can really see everything here. So this looks pretty good. I got a few snow, snowy spots here and there, but I've got most of them taken care of. One, oh, that's just, I can clear that up. That's just a, a temporary tree farm I had. I've got quite a bit. Boy, you can see the road all the way over there. I've not actually taken a, taken a good look off of this yet. So this is, this is why I'm saying housing up here. Because look at the view. Housing always gets the best view. So you can, so we're going to put some houses up here. Probably another apartment. No need for any stores or anything. But housing across here, the road will go there. More housing down there. So this whole upper area is going to be just housing. Housing, housing, housing. 
I'm starting to repeat myself a bit. Oh, and looking at the clock, I think, especially if I add in the time lapse, I am probably running a bit long for what I want. You know, for like, I like to keep these episodes not too long anymore. So I think I'm going to uh, just cut this one short. And then we'll actually be back to do some real stuff later on. Because all I did in this one was a, a bunch of clearing. And a pig. That pig, is that one of my... Okay, no label on this pig. So this is just a natural one. So anyhow, like I said, I think I'm going to cut the episode today at this point. So I will... Uh, pick it up next time we'll start actually adding some houses and stuff up here and then uh, see where else it takes us so until later have a great day and i will see you in the next episode bye bye what are you doing in here look at this clay's already clay is already here yeah, I bet he was in here to steal some clay. Get out of here. See, do I have my sword? Yeah. <laughs> and that is the fate of every Enderman who gets in my way. Or doesn't get in my way.